Welcome all, welcome back. At uh, I need help at C squared. In this example, I'm gonna construct an inscribed triangle and an inscribed hexagon. You will see it. They are very related. These two a regular shape, uh, a regular uh, um, triangle, which is a equilateral triangle or a regular hexagon. Uh, that's the thing I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna start to constructing a circle. Very simple here on GeoGebra. This is a circle. And now uh, I'm going to start by finding the other six. Uh, we have one point here, B, the other five points of the hexagon. I'm going to start with that guy. And for that reason, it's very simple. If you know a little bit of geometry, you know the side of a hexagon is equal to the radius of the circle you inscribe the hexagon into so this is the side of the hexagon a b so i'm going to use that guy i'm going to use that radius i'm going to get this tool the compass i'm going to measure this is the radius and then you you just want to center and i'm going to center here to b which you already done if you notice we get two points here these are the two more points of that inscribed hexagon, okay? And now, very similar, I'm gonna do one more point, get a compass, measure the radius, and then move it to the point C, and you see we have another point, but since I have that tool, let's do another circle and center to point D, okay? Uh, and now we have Two more points. One is here and one is here. Okay, and if you want, we can, you can, or I can delete all these circles so we can make the picture a little bit better, I guess. We don't need them anymore. We have the points. By the way, you want to do this way. Don't delete the circle because on GeoGebra, they're going to delete your other things you need. Okay, so we have, you see, five points we need one more which by now by now i think you know i'm going to use the compass measure the radius move right here and you don't need to do it one more time this is the sixth one it's right here okay and now first of all let's delete this let's erase the circle not delete and i don't think we i need that guy anymore okay and if you notice, we have the hexagon here, right? Okay, let's draw the hexagon first. You can start from anywhere. And if you want to see, oops, wrong here. If you want to see if it's a hexagon, let's let's measure the angle. So and hopefully we're going to get an angle of 120 degree yes yes it is 120 it is 120 it is 120 120 and obviously the last one will be 120 also let me measure the segment and you will see all of them are 4.6 4.6 yeah there you go let me just move them a little bit so you can see them better but you notice this is a regular hexagon we inscribed in a circle and like i said the key thing here is if you remember the radius of the circle is the same with the side of the pentagon that's the reason you can construct it like that now how do i get a triangle now very simple you're gonna skip a point so let's say you start from point b skip c and go to e skip g and go to f skip d and go back to b ladies and gentlemen this is an inscribed triangle you can do the same thing measure the angle measure the sides the angle obviously needs to be 60 
uh, and uh, the sides will be all equal. If you enjoy this construction, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-square for more help. Thank you.